YouTube. This is Mike here, uh, Transforming Toy Box, bringing you a very special video review. I promised this one in my vlog, and I'm here to deliver. This is going to be a special review for me because I'm trying something a little bit new. Now, you all know that I do subscriber dedicated reviews, of course. I've done them for, for several of you now. But this time I'm doing something off the beaten tracks. And I'm reviewing a toy for all the millions of people that have not subscribed to me. Since I review good toys for my subscribers, it's only fair that I review a steaming pile of crap for my non-subscribers. Case in point, Human Alliance Basic Drag Strip. <laughs> Prepare for pain. First of all, let me say... Hasbro's instructions for this thing. Hasbro, drag strip, strike one. instructions. Goff. Let's get down to business. So here we see drag strip in probably his best mode, which is just the race car. And we'll get some of the good stuff out of the way right now. Some of the good stuff. Decent race car. Good sound, especially for a basic. Rolls okay. And good paint apps. Nice, shiny purple. Decent, vibrant yellow with a, a nice, nice black going on there to offset things. And good stuff over. Let's get into these. It's no place to store them. Hasbro. It's 2011. You can store... The Mech Tech Monster Cannon in your Ultimate Optimus Prime's trailer. And you can't store two blades in a race car? Get A. Strike two. Strike two, Drag Strip. Ugh, it's not over. It's never over, damn it. Weapon Mode! <laughs> oh, gosh. You know what, let me, let me raise the camera up a little bit for this. Weapon mode. Here's what you do for weapon mode, kids. Pull these little guys out. Get yourself your nice little blades here. And now go ahead and clip in just like that. Yeah. Looking like fun, isn't it? Wonder what this weapon's going to be, guys. Who knows, it's a Decepticon. Maybe it'll be cool. Or maybe this is pretty much it. Yeah. The instructions are such crap, it's kind of hard to even figure out what they want you to do, first of all. And second of all, this is the picture on the box. I wish I were lying to you guys. This... You got you got a handle right here, I guess. I, what is this? What is this? What the fuck is it? Can anyone? Is it a blade thing? Is it a shield? Is it, I don't even know. This is fucking ridiculous. You know what it looks like? It looks like the race car uh, just turned into some sort of hover thing. That would have been better. That would If they just said that, maybe that would have worked out. Weapon mode, though? What are you going to do with this? 
Are you going to just pick up this race car and start swinging it around? I don't know, maybe just throw it at someone? Shoot. Strike three, Hasbro. Oh, man. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Finish the review. Finish the review. Okay. Okay, I'm calming down here. Alright. Pull the blades out. Let's get to robot mode. Fortunately, robot mode may be just a little bit better. Not by much, but a little bit. So, we'll pull these out. These will, of course, form legs in some way. Just flip these bad boys out. Once I can get them, that is. There's a little, uh, little tab you can flip. I should just flip this thing off is what I'd like to do. But I promised you guys I'd review it. And I'll get my revenge later. You'll know I will. You'll know I'll do it. Go ahead, tell me I won't. Because I'll do it. Here we go. And the arms. I mean, we'll talk about the arms in a minute. This guy freaking makes the Lux Brawl look like a well put together machine. There it is. <laughs> what the? I guess you could split these, make them look marginally better. I don't know. And then these. These are his weapons again. That's great. Oh, and by the way, his bio on the card, oh gosh, weakest Decepticon bio ever, would be a, uh, a compliment. Yeah, apparently he decided that working with humans was a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I'm a Decepticon and I'm going to play nice. Oh boy, isn't everything wonderful? Isn't it all just sunshine and lollipops and, and friggin' peaches and cream and all sorts of wonderful stuff? <sighs> yep, and there. There it is. There's his arms. They don't stay together. They don't stay together. I can't believe I paid ten bucks for this thing. How am I going to pay ten dollars for this pile of feces? Oh my gosh. I'm telling you. You know, I don't need this crap. I don't need it at all. There's your review. Don't spend $10 on this thing. So there it is, YouTube. My first non-subscriber review. And probably my last. Because I am never buying a toy like that again. I didn't do my research on this one, guys, but learn from my mistake. Do not buy this toy. Now, I know you're thinking I could return it to Target, but I lost the receipt. I know. Crap. And then you're thinking, oh, well, you can at least sell it on eBay. No. I cannot, in good conscience, sell this thing to another human being, nor could I give it to another human being. Because it is an awful toy. No one deserves this thing. Because it's just such a terrible piece of garbage. So, there's only one solution. That'll do. If even one person manages to avoid buying this piece of garbage. I've done my job. Stay away from Human Alliance basic drag strip, guys. There's a whole plethora of other Human Alliance basics that are all fantastic toys. Drag strip's a small hiccup in what really is a good line. Stay away from him, and you'll all be just fine. Until next time, thank you all for watching. 
Hope you all have a great day. There it is.